Now let's talk about what you're going to be doing for your own portion of the flow chart that you're going to be making it, uh, making up, starting with step eight. And first you need a blank piece of paper. You may need a couple pieces of paper by the time that we're done. So step eight to be continued by you, put an A at the top of that next page. And then let's read step eight. Step eight says to the precipitate from step seven B. And let's follow along here. Here's seven B. Here's the solid, which is the precipitate. So here's our precipitate. It has maybe a little bit of lead hydroxide, lead two hydroxide, aluminum, iron three, and chromium three hydroxide. So add six molar nitric acid dropwise with stirring until it dissolves. So on the top of the next page, you're gonna write a letter A, then you're gonna draw a down arrow, and you're gonna write add six, uh, six molar HNO3, or just plus six molar HNO3 uh, dropwise with stirring um, you don't have to write till it dissolves, which you can. And then 8B, then add five drops of 0.1 molar ammonium sulfate, stir, and then um, you're going, that's all along this down arrow on your next page. Then you're going to put a diamond because it says centrifuge, decant, and discard any precipitate. So for the solid portion out of the diamond, you can write uh, a box, an arrow, and then a box that says discard. Um, and we're getting rid of any extra PB2 plus ion, lead two ion. To the solution from step 8B, so have an arrow going out the other side that says uh, aqueous. And um, in that aqueous is going to be uh, aluminum ion. Well, let's see. Let's go down to step eight. Step eight. Yes, the sulfates of aluminum, chromium, and iron are soluble, and that of lead two is not. So you're going to have aqueous ions for all three of these, um, and the lead in the funny brackets there, in case there's any. That's going to be in your aqueous solution. So there'll be a box over here that says solution with all of those in it after step 8a. Then you're going to have another arrow going down, which says 8b. You come up to 8b, it says to the 8b. Then add five drops of, uh, so plus 0.1 molar, five drops of 0.1 molar ammonium sulfate. Stir centrifuge and discard any precipitate if there is any a white precipitate would further indicate the presence of lead it would be lead to sulfate that can be after your diamond and your solid then you're going to have lead to um, sulfate solid discard and then out of the other side for your aqueous phase you're going to have aluminum ion iron ion, iron three ion, and chromium three ion. And you're just going to go step by step through each of them until you've created a flow chart similar to this for all of the steps down through step 15. Each step you read, you can then tell based on the notes what ions are in the aqueous phase. And so they will be ions. Uh, there will be no solids in the aqueous phase, of course and then which solids you can make. So for step eight, you can see aluminum becomes aluminum three plus. So do the other ones except, uh, and oh, so, all, so do all of them. And then the only one that becomes a solid would be the lead two sulfate. That's how we know it's a solid. It tells us in these reactions right here. Give that a shot and be sure to ask any questions.